intercept the request and zap. Start with, I have a page that I want to intercept. Also, I've made sure that Firefox is proxying all of its traffic through Zap. So in this case, I've used Foxy Proxy to configure Zap's settings, which is localhost port 8080. You could also do that manually by configuring Firefox to go directly to Zap. You don't have to use Foxy Proxy if you don't want to. Over here in Zap, I have the site loaded up in the sites. And as I browse the pages, they're going to be populated down here in the history. So for example, if I refresh the page, I can confirm that I'm intercepting the page because it shows up in here in the history. If I want to actually intercept the request, first I'm going to toggle breakpoints using the breakpoint button here. When you click on it, it'll turn red, meaning that the breakpoint is set. Then I'm going to refresh the page. Notice that Firefox is stuck waiting because the request has been intercepted and captured by Burp and it hasn't been released off to the web server yet. So if we go back over to Zap, we'll see the request. And at this point, you can manipulate the request directly, like change some values in a parameter, and then send it on down the line using the play button. Or you can right click and say open with the request editor. And now you can send the request as many times as you'd like without having to intercept it every time. So back in the original request, I'm going to go ahead and send it down the line. If we go back over to the history, we'll see that the request that we had modified, recall we put the little zero zero here into that parameter name, has come back. And if I double click on that request, it'll pull it up and I can see the response. Also, over in the manual request editor, I can now change this request and send it on down the line as many times as I want.